All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do a haywire twist using a 10-0 shock hook. My wire I'm using is a single strand, 240 pound test. So insert the wire through the eye of the hook and we're gonna bend it back up. So basically like it's in line with the original wire. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch the wires, which you'll see with my two fingers. And what you wanna do is you wanna twist the wires around each other. This actually causes a haywire twist. You don't want to wrap one wire around the other wire because that is not a haywire twist. You're just doing wire wraps. As you can see right there, both those wires are wrapped around each other, which locks into place and causes and makes the haywire twist. You want to do this five, six, seven times. No more than that, and that's plenty. But remember, as you can see what I'm doing, both my fingers, are both wires are being spun with my finger to cause that. And then you can see again, all those things are intertwined making a strong connection. Now what you want to do is put that wire up the tag end to a 90 degree and now you want to do your wraps around the wire. So now this time it's just the one wire wrapping around the other wire. And again five six times and you see what I did here is I actually didn't get enough wire so I'm coming out short at the end. So there's that little tag end which is going to make it hard for me to grab my fingers to bend it. What you want to do is when you come in a situation like this and you obviously, I mean, I would just cut my finger if I tried to do that, so it wouldn't work. So it's good to have a needle nose pliers handy. And for a situation like that, simply grab a needle nose pliers and grab the wire and you want to do a 90 degree angle turn in the tip of the wire. That basically is giving you a handle of the wire that you're going to spin. Now once you have that, you push it up and you twist. In this situation, the wire didn't twist fully, so now I'm going to have to reset and start all over again. So again with the wire, I'll bend down, make my handle, and twist up. And boom, there it is, it's popped. Now once you do that, you don't want to cut the wire actually, because if you cut the wire, it's going to have a very, very sharp edge, and you will slice your finger open, lead in a shock. As you can see right now, smooth as could be, it pops the wire, it leaves zero. There is no tag in, nothing is going to be sticking out. And it's 100% smooth and 100% safe. Now on this particular haywire twist, I did leave enough wire to show you how you could do it with your finger. So now we have approximately, I would guess, three, three and a half inches of wire. Bend it up at that 90 degree, put up. Now that's basically your handle. So you push it up back towards the hook in a simple twist. And there it is, it pops off. And there is nothing at all that's going to be sticking out, that's going to catch you, catch your finger, cut you in any way, as smooth as can be. Also, as you saw, what I just did is the wire comes out a little crooked, you can simply just bend it straight.